there was a road which was, we had to cross the road. And we had to make sure there wasn't traffic coming. So we stopped talking as we crossed the road. And then we got to the other side. And evidently, I had an idea <laughs> in the middle of crossing the road. But then he started talking again, and the idea got blotted out of my mind, and, and I totally forgot it. But then at, afterwards, I had this strange feeling of elation. I said, why do I feel happy here, <laughs> you see? And I thought, this is strange. And so I went through all the things that happened right, all the way through the day. I said, no, that's not it. Oh, that was that quite fun, but no, it wasn't that. <laughs> no, 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 not that. And then I brought up the idea of crossing the road. I thought, my God, that was it. But it, it's the thing I call the trap surface, which is you can characterize what's peculiar about this surface is that the light rays from it converge in both directions. You see, it's, you see normally in ordinary space, if you have a, say, a piece of surface, then it may be convex on one side and concave on the other. And one side it will expand, and the other side contract, you see. But you have here a situation where it contracts on both sides. And that's a characterization which is generic. I mean, you can wobble it around, and it's still true. It doesn't depend on the symmetry. You can perturb away from the symmetric solution completely generally. And this condition will persist. It's a local condition on the surface, but it's global because it has to happen all over the sphere. And I thought, that's just the kind of condition I need. And I, later in the same day, I sketched out a proof of, of, of the theorem, just from that. So the, the, that insight was something which was enough to make me feel happy in that short time when I crossed the road, happy enough to think this was the solution to the problem. Now quite why I felt so confident about it, I don't know. It's the sort of thing I like to do, to walk in the woods. If I have a problem that's I need to think about, and doesn't require writing anything down, it requires con some conceptual idea that I haven't quite sorted out, and I find that it helps a lot if I can just have the peace and quiet and birds singing and, and nature around me just to relax me so that I can sometimes sort problems out that I haven't been able to do if I'm in the middle of all my papers and desk and things I should be doing, and computers, and goodness knows what. Just to walk out in the woods, I find it incredibly relaxing, and often I've found that there's a problem I've been stuck on, and it becomes clear when I can walk in the woods. <laughs>